rumble and I'm ready. Going to number two, coming out on top. No one is gonna be able to eliminate me. I'm the biggest guy. <laughs> ready for it. Woo! Wow, I'm excited. I'm pumped for tonight. Cause tonight, I'm in a bad royal against bigger guys than me, smaller guys than me. It doesn't matter. All I want to do is I want to come out victorious to get a shot at the, at the Florida Heritage Championship against Sideshow. And that's a big opportunity. So be ready because I'm coming out victorious. The following contest is a Proving Ground Rumble. Schedule for one fall. It's another edition of Proving Ground Wrestling fans. I'm your host, Big Slowhand, and we got the Proving Ground Rumble started. And beside me here in the Eagles Mat, in the Eagles Nest, excuse me, is your FIP Florida Heritage Champion, the one and only Sideshow. What's going on? I think it's great to be here tonight. It's great to be a part of this Proving Ground and watching this rumble right now. Uh, you know, I'm basically scouting the talent because one of these guys is going to get a shot at my Florida Heritage Championship tonight. You are absolutely correct. The winner of this rumble will get a shot one-on-one -on -one at that Florida Heritage Championship. Now, the gentleman, one of the gentlemen in that ring is a gentleman you faced a few weeks ago, the DOM, and you had quite an even match with him. You know, he's got a very bright, bright future ahead of him. Uh, you know, he's a tough competitor. He's got all the tools he needs to make uh, himself a success in this business. But he's against this guy, the Puerto Rican hound dog and this guy is absolutely nuts he'll punch you he'll bite you he'll break your eyes he'll lift his leg and take a pee right in the middle of the ring he yeah. doesn't care yeah I've, I've seen that happen i've seen him headbutt 10 people all at once and if i'm the dom right now i would be running away from this guy as fast as i can oh look at him ow my chest all he's got to do the dom has to do is survive right now because he's a big strong guy the hound dog and those headbutts are absolutely brutal. Yeah, they're devastating. I, I saw the cringe on your face when that's going on because you might have to face this big guy later tonight. I mean, it could be any one of these guys. This is why it's called Proving Ground. It gives these guys an opportunity to prove what they got right here in the middle of the ring. Absolutely. By the way, folks, my producers told me that when the eliminations happen, they're actually going to take part into a 10-man tag team match. Now, I got no pen or paper, so I'm not going to keep a score of this. So maybe you folks at home can keep score of this, have pens and paper handy. And right now, the DOM could be part of that match because right now he's about ready to go over the ropes. You, you know, it, it, it's hard enough coming out here and competing once in a night, but to be able to have to compete twice in a night, I mean, that takes a lot out of you. That takes a, 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 a lot of guts. It takes a lot of energy. It takes a lot of physical uh, physicality. It takes a lot of cardio. I mean, and, and these guys, these guys are taking it to each other right now. Look at that. Look at that. Sheer power. Michael James now with the countdown going on. We're going to see who the third man is in. And we're about to find out. Introducing it to number three, who goes up, but he does, Dan Lydon. Psycho Dan Lydon in there, and that is his manager on his left forearm, Gunther. I'm not sure if Gunther's allowed to be in the ring here. This guy is absolutely insane. What's it say, Dan Lydon or Gunther? 
uh, one and the same, aren't they? I think so. In fact, Gunther talked with me earlier and said he was going to try to keep Dan Lydon from the ropes tonight, and he needs to because right now the Puerto Rican Hound Dog is having his way with not one but two wrestlers. Is, is that a raccoon? Is that a skunk? Is that a squirrel? You know, I, I think it's a raccoon. I tried to make sense of it. It's pretty bandaged up. Oh! A little meeting of the minds right there. Uh, you Nine, eight, exactly. Seven, the countdown is back six, on, but right now, so five, far, if you're four, scoring by points, three, the Puerto Rican Hound two, Dog is dominating this matchup. Trying to get the Psycho one over. Oh, I'm not sure if you've seen this gentleman's sideshow. Krieger, the German madman, a master of the Iron Claw. He is destroyed and defeated many opponents with it. And he's about to take Dan Lyon over the over the ropes there. Very, very familiar with Krieger, man. And this guy has the best chance as any man to win this match. It might just be me and him tonight. It might be the Puerto Rican Hound Dog. I mean, like, you know, good luck getting the Hound Dog over the top to the floor. Yeah, I think there's gonna have to be a, some collusion with these gentlemen, a, perhaps a partnership to try to get the Puerto Rican Hound Dog over the ropes. Oh, but the claw is on the corner. Oh, he's got the claw. He's got the claw while Lydon, while uh, Psycho Dan and then DOM fighting over on the far end. Nine, now Hound Dog able to get the claw seven, off of him. Six, oh. five, four, three, two, one. Next man up. That's right, the next man to enter this rumble coming down. Baby Keith from Miami, Florida, coming in after about a month rest from Proving Ground. He is back in, and he is a house of fire. All the way from the 305 right here in Port Ritchie, Florida, to show what he's got right here at Proving Ground. Oh, he's got a lot of skill. Only thing is he loves to fly, and in a match like this, flying does not help you. No, nah, he might find himself flying right out of the ring over the top ropes and to the floor. Yeah, that is true. Now, I uh, see uh, the do Hound Dog got drop kicked there by Krieger. I think Krieger was trying to see if he could launch him over the ropes with that drop kick. Good try. You know, I've been sitting at home chomping at the bits since October when I won the Florida Heritage Championship. And that's why I gotta be here. I see, I see the fight in your eyes. We're about to have another wrestler coming down to ringside. Oh, Damien Gemini, the tag team partner of the Puerto, Re uh, Puerto Rican Hound Dog. And right now, he's got the fist of flying on the DOM. Did you almost say Puerto Rican? I, 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 a little slip, a little slow hit is him. Oh, it looks like Krieger might be going over. He might be getting eliminated here. Psycho Dan and Gunther right now both attacking Krieger. No eliminations yet. You know, this is absolutely nerve-wracking for a guy like me, man. I'm sitting here, I have no idea which guy I'm going to face later on tonight. I was gonna say, how do you handle a strategy like this? I mean, you really can't. I mean, that's why I'm here. I'm, I'm trying to, like, take a piece from each and every one of these guys. You know what I mean? So I can form some sort of game plan no matter who I'll face. Every one of them has a very different mode of attack, very different style. And we got another one who's coming down. As the countdown continues here in this Proving Ground Royal. It's trip number seven. So we got like three dogs in the ring now. We got K9 Alpha T, who's been actually feuding with the DOM, and he goes direct, straight to the DOM. These two do not like each other at all. So we've got three dogs in the ring, you said? We got three dogs. We got about four or five bald men. DOM right now going over the ropes, and he's been eliminated. Okay, cool. Well, yep. DOM has been eliminated. We'll see so much for my strategy. I already know what that guy's about, because I have been in the ring with him, so I, I do have a little clue how to beat the man. But it's not going to be his night tonight, so... Nope, but he will be part of that tag team match. And we still have six men here in the ring with more to come. We got right now K-9 and a Psycho 1 in one corner. We got the count going on. We got Baby Keith trying to rest up in the far left corner. Or short left corner, I should say. Three, two, one. And who's coming out next? Next participant, Awesome Adam Vale! Awesome Adam Vale, a blue chipper here in Proving Ground. One who's been having a feud with Krieger that's been going all over the place. He goes straight after Baby Keith. Man just takes his time and he's picking the bones right now. Men that have already, 
you know, got their butt kicked a little bit in there, man. A very, very smart strategy by Adam Vale. Now he's got, looks like a sleeper hold on a Puerto Rican hound dog. Can he hold on to him? Oh, he gets splashed into the back corner. I mean, I don't know whether that's a good strategy against a guy that size or a bad strategy. Yes, great, you want to put the guy to sleep, you want to put him down. But then you still got to get him up and put him over the top rope. Yeah, I don't think dead, dead lifting him is going to work. The countdown is on, and look at the carnage in the ring right now. This is insane. One of these men will be facing you tonight, Sideshow. Including this one coming down the ring. How in the hell is this guy still wrestling? This guy has taken about 25 pile drivers. He's been gone to the hospital three times a week. This guy's neck is made of rock. Hey, he's as tough as they come. I have been in the ring with Sider before, so I know what kind of fight that man has in him. So, I mean, it's gonna take a lot more than the average guy to take that man out. I can't stand him, but my goodness, I've never seen anyone just come back from beating after beating, and now he's going straight after the Puerto Rican Hound Dog. And he just broke his hand on his head. Like he needs another injury. And we see an aneurysm right there. And we have Carnage in there. We got Damian Gemini in the awesome one. We got K9 and the Psycho. Psycho Dan Light. And this is crazy. The call. And who's the next one there, Sideshow? Who's the next one? Next man up. Introducing our final participant. So the luck of the draw goes to Buzzsaw Chase McCoy. And he's in there, the freshest man. This really could be the guy. For, he could be the guy, because he just threw out Baby Keith. This could be the guy you might have to worry about, Sideshow. And just look at these, look at these men right now. It's Buzzsaw McCoy and Krieger ready to face off. We got Gemini and Scyther in the corner. We got Psycho Danning now for K9 in the one. We got the Puerto Rican home door being very smart, just kind of staying there. It's coming all down to this, my friend. I know, and, and uh, everyone's piling up right now for that tag team match. Also, this is going to be crazy. Plus, tonight we got the Young Lions Cup. If that isn't enough, oh, Jamie Gemini, Gemini could be eliminated on that far side. He gets back under the ropes. I'm sorry, Sideshow. The action's crazy around here. Yeah, you know, this is a very special night. Like I said, for me, I couldn't just sit home and hold that title. I had to defend it. So what better place to come to the proving ground and give one of these young new talents, one of these new up-and-coming talents, a shot at my title? And they'll, and by winning this rumble, they will certainly earn it. There's a lot of pain and a lot of, say, a lot of beatings going on in that ring. Now Adam Vale trying to throw K9 out. Oh, we got elimination there. That was Derek, Damian Gemini. Uh, this is about who wants it more. Uh, Krieger better look out. I thought Buzzsaw McCoy was looking at him. He said Krieger gets chopped by, Del by Rafael Gonzalez there, the Puerto Rican hound dog. He throws him over very easily. We're down now to six men. Six men in that ring. And Scyther getting shot after shot by the hound dog. And now he's going full force like a locomotive. Oh my! Uh, who threw the dogs out? Indeed, right? How does this guy keep doing it? Scyther overcoming the odds, taking out the hound dog, and now we're down to five. Five wrestlers, who will have, one of whom will have a shot tonight at the Florida Heritage Championship. I, I think Alpha T has got the advantage. He's the biggest man in there. He's going to be the hardest of them to eliminate. He is a tough, tough man. He's got, and those clothes have a lot of strength to them. He could be the one fighting over with Buzz, say, uh, Buzz McCoy over there. Oh my goodness, Buzz saw Chase McCoy. I am so flustered. But you see Chase McCoy, who's just been going crazy over the past couple of weeks, had a big vi victory over Drake Xavier, who's in our Young Lions Cup tonight. And we see Psycho Dan in the corner. Gunther giving him an advantage. McCoy, he's about ready to go. He's about ready to be eliminated. His feet did not touch the ground. Yeah, you know, we'll have to check. No, his feet did not touch the ground. K9, though, smartly going after him. See what Alpha oh, T can do, but no, it's Chase McCoy That's now. Great strategy, he got him by the neck. Where the neck goes, that. Oh, he uses a strength to take him over. Incredible. Where the head goes, where the head goes, the body follows. That's a rule of thumb in any kind of physical sport. And now we're down to the final four side show. One of these men's gonna be fighting you tonight. 
Who is it going to be? Uh, again, again, I have to have a different strategy for each one of these. Absolutely. All four of them very resilient, extremely double tough. Oh, we got, we got some fighting going on outside the ring. I hit, It's the DOM and Alpha oh, yeah. Team. Yep. DOM getting, trying to get a measure of revenge against the Alpha Team. Well, my pick was Alpha T, so I don't know now. We're gonna have to get somebody in there, an investigator reporter, to check in on that situation. Check out, check out Adam Vale. He's just kind of chilling and over there in the corner, getting his strength back. That's a smart strategy right now. The other guys wear each other down, and then when it, it sees an opportunity, oh, they're the big super kick. That's what makes him awesome. And right now, Scyther, he's about ready to take a trip over the ropes. No, he's hanging up. I don't know how this guy is still walking. After all the wars he's had with Daniel Sterling, I don't know how this guy can still walk and still even breathe. And in that other corner, I'm sorry, Sideshow. I said, cut you off. We got Buzz, uh, Buzz McCoy there. Awesome Adam Bale. Oh, this is, this is exciting. I don't, oh, look at this. He's getting bit by the raccoon. Yes, Gunther is biting him, I guess. I guess the referee's gonna allow it. Well, I mean, it is, it is a battle royal. That is true. The rules are a lot looser in this situation. Scyther now goes in, and he eliminates the Psycho One. Bye bye Leaves it down to three. One of these three wrestlers going to get a shot tonight at the Florida Heritage Championship. I'm excited now. you got the super intense Buzzsaw Chase McCoy. you got Scyther, who's just beyond resilient. Adam Bell is fired up, but oh, look. Buzzsaw or Scyther are, are buying it right now. No, they're not. Though Adam Vale, very calculated. They are working as a team, though, on the awesome one. They want to get rid of him. Oh, no. Chop City! Chop City. That hurts. I don't care who you are, where you're from. Oh, now what do they play? Oh, they're going to get him out of I mean, you gotta try to throw him over on that side of the ring. That's a little tougher to do. Adam Bell keeps his right foot on there. Are they trying to talk to each other? Have you ever heard Scyther speak? Uh, no, I hear him say, oh, 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 a little rake to the eyes right there. Well, communication breakdown plus buzzsaw doesn't always work well with others. So Scyther now is gonna try to take the buzzsaw over. It's gonna be, oh, no, a shot by the buzzsaw. Now it's buzzsaw that's gonna try to take Scyther over. These guys trying to eliminate each other right now. Scyther is almost gone. He's almost out of this room. Almost. It's breaking down to this. A smart rake of the eyes. And right now, he, all three of these men spent beyond belief. Chopped by Scyther. And now it's Buzzsaw going over. Oh, he's going to skin the cat. Is he? Hey, I like cats. Don't skin them. Oh, he's got, he's got his legs around Scyther. Oh, wait. wait. Oh, the awesome man. That calculated one gets the victory. So that's who it is. That's who it is, Sad Show. Sideshow right now up here at the Eagles Nest showing Adam Vale the shot that he has for that Florida Heritage Championship. The winner of the Proving Rumble, awesome Adam Vale. And later tonight, it'll be him and Sideshow one-on-one -on -one for the FIP Florida Heritage Championship. Yo, yo, yo. It is the awesome attraction, the one that makes it happen, especially tonight, is awesome Adam Vale. You just bear witness, awesome Adam, throw 10 other buff ass busters right out of the ring. And now I'm on my way to the FIP Heritage Championship. See, it's gonna make no difference who I'm going up against. Tonight, that title is mine. It's a perfect round rumble. I was treated. This was Craig's chance. This was Craig's chance to see FIP for the Heritage title. This was my chance to get my hands on that pierced up American freak sideshow. And hound dog, I. Der Hund, wir einen, wir wollen sie. You have ruined it for me. I will find you. Tonight, 
the most exclusive content creator, Cam Stewart, representing the most exclusive page, the only Cam's enters the Young Lions Tournament. And I gotta face off against Puma Johnson. Puma, all my subscribers don't like you. And that's why tonight, Puma, I'm gonna pounce all over you until I get the one, two, three, and go on to win the cup. Yes. <sighs> yeah, the last tournament, I got Puma in there now. Cam Stewart, they locked in the jungle with me because the ring is my jungle. And I plan on ripping anybody that who stands in my way because I'm plan on losing. Ah! The following contest is the first round Young Lions Cup Tournament Qualifier scheduled for one fall. Introducing first. Because you're creepy, dude, that's why. No, I'm not. against Cameron Stewart. I am joined back here at the Eagle's Nest by Sideshow. You know, both these competitors are great up and coming uh, guys. They both uh, are amazing in the ring. I, I, yo, Cameron, he's a little bit Puma's full of himself. That might be his only downfall. But Puma Johnson, man, this man can do it all. And I am looking forward to this match tonight. Well, absolutely, you should be looking forward for the match later on tonight. You've got a big title defense coming on. But right now we do have the first round and we got the exclude the most exclusive man in wrestling, Cameron Stewart. Exclusive. Exclusive. Looking as good as we can. Hey, hey. Yeah, he's damaging he's damaging valuable property there. Look at him gyrating his hips there. We almost got a PG-13 rating right here. Yes, well PG-13, it could be a little more if you go on to Cam's only. But you know, again, you have to be accepted to that. He was not having none of that. Cameron Stewart was getting out of Dodge before he got hit with that hard right hand of Puma Johnson. Well, Puma Johnson is not here to dance. Puma Johnson is definitely yes. here to wrestle tonight. He is here to claim that Young Lions Cup, a very prestigious cup. We've got eight of the top young wrestlers here to battle for this. And Stewart right now, they just kind of a little of that old school uh, head games he's trying to put to his opponent. Oh, and well, Puma Johnson giving it right back to him. Look out! <laughs> oh, right to the back, old school style. I bet he's got like some bling bling on his nails right now. Oh, he might. I'll have to check those out. Oh, he definitely gets manicures and pedicures, I bet. Oh, right back at you. Return to the favor. There is your receipt. 
That is, and Puma Johnson right now in control of Cam Stewart. Now I'm wondering what the strategy for both these guys could be in this match, because it's not just about winning the match. you got to have enough strength to survive through this tournament. What does Cam Stewart have on his tights? I believe that is a lock, as in lock and key, as in you are not allowed. Access denied. Though I'll tell you, that access is granted on that drop kick. <laughs> You've heard of Elf on the Shelf. Now you have Locke on the... Oh, my. Sideshow now giving us a PG-13 rating here. I know, this is a family show. Almost a three count by Puma Johnson. And both guys right now going at it. The, the first round match, a quarterfinal to the Young Lions Cup. As Puma Johnson now stalking his prey, just like a Puma would. Delivers a nice chop over to the exclusive one, Cameron Stewart. Oh, stink. So bad. Oh. I've seen you give a couple of them before. Oh, Mr. Awesome Adam Vale is going to know all about those tonight. <laughs> we'll, we'll see about that. We'll see about that. Now Stewart with the suplex goes, hooks the leg, but only gets a one count. I gotta tell you, Sideshow, talk about this Young Lions Cup tournament. I remember seeing you as a young lion way back in the 90s when you were starting out tearing people apart left limb from limb. Way back in the 90s. I know, it feels like it was forever ago, man. I mean, in a blink of an eye, it just goes by, but I'm still here. I still got a lot of fight left in me, and that's why I'm here, and I'm gonna defend my FIP Florida Heritage Championship tonight at Proving Ground. Oh, you got quite the opponent to defend it against. Cam Stewart right now using the referee's full discretion of the count to take away a little bit of the air of Puma Johnson and then just giving a free dance. Oh, look at that. A little sample size for the crowd here in Newport Richie. Tell the tuck a dollar in there. <laughs> and now is Johnson fighting back. That's the thing about Stewart, though. He does take a lot of time in between moves when he wants to start that dancing and gyrating. Like I said, his ego and his showboating is going to be his only downfall. Got a lot of height on that drop kick, goes for the cover. Again, cannot pin him. You just gotta keep hooking the leg and going for the pin. As many times, even if you know you don't have the pin, that wears a man down. You know how much energy that takes out of a man having to push another 200 pound man's body off of him. Absolutely. Now we got that nice chin lock in there. See if he can wear Puma down, but the crowd right now get behind Puma Johnson. Another shot to the stomach. Look at the ref's sweet hair, man. That, that is a, that is nice. Not as nice as mine, but good hair nonetheless. What, what's left of yours? Well, what, wait a minute. Big DDT by Cam Stewart. Still cannot get the three count. I'm shocked by that one side show. Spiked his head right in the mat, man. That can end a match for anyone right there. I say, I was impressed by Puma Johnson able to kick out of that. Stewart right now. In control, Locky going in for that knuckle lock, but he's got something else in mind. What's it gonna be? Oh, he's going up top. Is he gonna walk? Well, he does speak the truth on top of the ropes. As he walks the ropes for the fans here on Puma Johnson. Oh, he makes it all the way to the other. That's another dance. Boy, he's in such a giving mood tonight. Oh, he might want to be giving more fists and kicks. Uh oh, what's going on, Sideshow? I think Cam Stewart right now shaking. He's losing his balance. The wall helped him. Oh, no! Oh, right in the lock and key. Oh, right in exclusive content. That is not good. Puma Johnson right now might be able to get the upper hand in this match. Uh, oh, Cameron Stewart's going to be singing about two octaves higher in the shower a little bit later. Well, we do have Eurovision coming later this week. Maybe he can help himself with that. <laughs> Right now, Puma Johnson in no laughing mood. He's getting back up to a base. He's hanging on. Cameron Stewart, big clothesline. Another one. Oh, big thuss press. Very nice. Now he's putting the fist in him. Hey, keep, keep it. That, that's a beautiful face right there. Keep those fists off that face. Cameron Stewart looks like you'd be friends with uh, Krieger, man. You know what I mean? He has that Hans and Franz look he going on He does have there, a bit you know? of that look right there. Puma Johnson right now being... He's stalking his opponent like prey. Goes in, he hooks the leg for the cover. Can we get a three? No. I say both men right now a little winded. And again, it's not just about winning this match. You have to have something in the tank to go all the way in this Young Lions Cup. You know, cardio is key when you're in the ring. And you know, you could be in the most 
best cardiovascular shape out there, but nothing prepares you like being in the ring. You could be on the treadmill, you could be on the electrical for hours. It's nothing until you get in that ring. And trust me, I know this. That's why I'm here, to keep myself in ring shape and whatnot. Absolutely, and you're in here with proven ground wrestlers. You know you're gonna get the best coming out of them. Now Stewart with that nice Savak kick, now he's... Oh, is this how he's gonna go back up again. He's gonna do this again. I don't know, I'd be a little leery about this. Let's hope he doesn't hurt his wiener schnitzel again. Oh my. Well, Duff, Duff Lundgren couldn't have done this any better. Oh! oh, wow! Puma Johnson flips him over, and now Johnson's ready. Oh, Codebreaker. Good call there, Sideshow. Codebreaker goes for the cover. Two. He gets a three. And that's it. As much as I love to see Cam Stewart dance around there, it was that dancing that did cost him in this match against Puma Johnson. Puma Johnson moving on with a big victory tonight. Yeah, get up there. Drink it all in. You deserve it, my man. WWN. Coming here soon, May 12th. We'll be starting the Young Lions Cup Tournament. You see, where I come from, tournaments mean three things. Riches. You will have enough gold to start your own country from winning a tournament. Fame. You'll be the most renowned person across the land. Everybody that I know that has won a tournament has gone on to become a legend in their own right. You ask, Drake, what makes you think you can win the tournament? Well, it's simple. I show up every single week and improve my stats. Every single week showing how much I have honed my craft every week putting all of the competition in the dust. Everyone else in this tournament, remember, you are just side characters. While this, this is my story. Tonight is the Young Lions Cup, and Drake Xavier is going to find out that Chris Malachi is going to be the one to win this. Let's go. The following contest is the first round Young Lions Cup match scheduled for Hornball. Alright, 
fans, we're getting ready for our next first round matchup here in the Young Lions Cup. And I have now been joined in the Eagles Nest by a good friend of mine, Sly Tyson. How you doing? It's been a while, my man. You, you know, it, it has been a while, and I'd like to say that I'm excited to be here, but I, I just spoke to Rick Thames, and he told me that I'm not allowed to cause any trouble up here tonight. Like, there can't be two of us causing trouble, and I don't know how I'm gonna handle this, man. I really don't. So, so Rick Thames is censoring you, essentially, and uh, I mean, there's nothing I can do about it if I want to get paid. Unbelievable, this guy. I, I am ready to have a lawyer look into our crooked commissioner. And I'm gonna do that after this show is over, but I well, very, can't believe I'm saying this, but I think we have a, a great contest on our hands tonight. Well, I, I will agree with you with that. We have a tremendous athlete in there, Drake Xavier, who's been on a, a tear as of late against Chris Malachi of the Miami boys. And they are back in after a little little timeout from Proving Ground. Maybe that time off is gonna prove to be, you know, a positive in this case. Absolutely, I'm sure they've been tearing it up down in South Florida. Some great chain wrestling to start things out. So I think I'm gonna have to put my money on Drake Xavier in a match like this, perhaps. Ooh, if Chris Malachi keeps pulling out those types of reversals, I think he might take it tonight. Are you, are you, seriously? Uh, I, 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 I have, he's a great, a, he's a great opponent, yeah. I have a few of these things written down and prepared, you know what I'm saying? Oh my, my, they're, they're neutering my partner over here. It's just sad to, Sad to see, it's sad to hear. Malachi right now with the top wrist lock. A beautiful top wrist lock, applying so much pressure on the arm and shoulder. Up, Drake Xavier with a smart move, getting to the ropes there. Yes, getting that break in. I think Xavier wants to slow the match down. He doesn't want to, I don't know if he wants to go speed for speed, even though Xavier has a lot of speed in his arsenal. And he wants to keep it technical. I think if he slows the match down, it's going to be in his favor. Going into the corner. There, it's a nice, oh, almost had that clean break. Hey, wait a minute, that's not a clean break there. You can hear that all throughout the WN Training Center. Well, that was a nasty chop by Malachi. Oh, another one! I am so glad I'm not in the ring with him. No, absolutely, and now Malachi's gonna be shooting Xavier off the ropes, reversal, duck under. There's that speed of Malachi right now, showing in form, taking Xavier over. Almost didn't have all that head since look at him following up with arm drag to hip toss. Malachi coming in, basement drop kick. Oh man, you're not gonna be right in this match, are you? I don't know. I'm gonna be just trying to focus. He went for a cover, it was a near fall. I'm so flustered right now, you have no idea if it's slowing. I should see this list of, of censored words that you're uh, saying. Wait, you can't talk bad about the referees? That's usually what I'm really good at. But yeah, you're awesome at it. I can't. I can't today. Unbelievable. Well, the censoring's going on. We do have a fantastic match in the ring. Big boot by Xavier. And that has turned the tide for right now. Almost censored Malachite's face right off his shoulders. <laughs> <laughs> that is true. Going for the cover. Ref going in. A little nonchalant on his end. Should have hooked the leg. Well, you, well, you know what? I'm gonna help you out. I think the ref was a little off centered on that. I think Xavier could have had the three. I'll, I'll, I'll say it for you, Sly Side. Yeah, we'll, we'll have a conversation after about all the things I agree with you on. Yeah, that, that's four pages you got right there. Right there, using the full four account for Drake Xavier. Uh, Chris Malachi taking the air out of his body. Can't say I disagree with that tactic. Something, a man after my own heart. Yes, absolutely. Big chop. What's good for the goose is good for the gander. Lighting up Chris Malachi with chops. Malachi right now grasping for air going to the other corner where Xavier's got him centered, set up again. Oh, tell us, he telegraphed that one. He did telegraph that one, true. Malachi trying to go in. Oh, but quickly to follow up with that beautiful Greco-Roman face. Face rank. Smart move. Smart move on Drake Xavier's part. He needs to focus and make sure that every time he lands something, just like that, he goes for the cover. Instead of doing that, he needs to go for the pin right away. Oh, it's beautiful though. That Salto goes for the cover. No. Almost. Now it kind of looks like he's got a little life left in him. Getting the crowd into this match, certainly now, Xavier. Oh, left his midsection open for Malachi. You cannot do that against these guys. Malachi is a fantastic speed wrestler. Oh, and these wonderful people. 
You're a new poor Richie behind this Malachite. I can't believe you're forced to say that. Oh, I, are you okay? Uh, are you okay? Uh, you know, I feel a little sick. Uh, we'll get Dave Akers up here if you want. We will get the EMTs here if you need to. We might need them. Oh, oh look at this! Oh! And that is just another part of those, that innovative offense from Drake Xavier. Absolutely. Goes for the hook. Doesn't get the three. I think he was a little tired. Didn't put a full enough uh, pressure on the shoulders. Malachite's still in this match somehow. He's got to put all that weight on his shoulders, cinch up on those legs, and try to take this seriously. Go for the pin. Go for the win. Yeah, as I say, you don't want to be playing around with a guy like Chris Malachite. This is the Young Lions tournament. This is the best of the best here in WWE proving ground. If you don't take it serious, someone like Malachite's going to do something like that and take the victory from you. And he does, and right now he's trying to get all the momentum behind him, trying to get the momentum of this crowd behind him, going full force and decking Drake Xavier. And he does it again! These wonderful people behind Chris Malachite. Oh, oh my goodness. Uh, yeah, yeah, we need to get you help after that. And Malachi right now still in control of Xavier, while my poor partner right now just being shackled by censorship. Uh, I'm just, I'm flustered right now. They're all a little flustered. Just like Drake Xavier's flustered after that shot right to the kisser. Malachi on the rope, Xavier catches him. And it looks like now both guys are in that corner. Who's gonna come out on top of this exchange? This is a precarious position for both men right now. Especially this early in the tournament. Big headbutt by Malachi. Now he's got the high ground against Drake Xavier. Beautiful suplex. I have to give it to that guy. It was a beautiful. A tornado variation. I don't think I've ever seen that before. Definitely not. Does not get the three, though. Both these guys right now expending a lot of energy in this match. They're pulling out all the stops. They know how important this tournament is. Absolutely. And right now, Malachi takes... Oh. He's looked like he was set up for a coup de grace. Reversal by Xavier! Threw him halfway across the ring. Oh my goodness, he almost threw him up here. Nice uppercut. And I think yeah, Xavier now is on oh, I know what's coming now. Oh yeah! Oh! Such a devastating maneuver. Again, I cannot emphasize the innovative offense. And oh, this could be the end. Drives him into that ring. Nobody gets up from that. Nope, and he's just slowly going for the cover. But he does get the victory. Here is your winner in the semifinals, Drake Xavier. Drake Xavier with another impressive victory, moving on to the semifinals of the Young Lions tournament. Going one on one with a lion in the young no, lions. No, it's not a lion. You you, you are facing a uh, another wrestler tonight, uh, Tyler Uriah. Okay, tonight I am going one on one with Tyler Uriah and a lion in a tournament, and I'm going to win that tournament and against the lion and against Tyler. Yeah. Oh jeez. Tonight, Tyler Uriah is in the Young Lions Cup tournament against. The clinical definition of a tortured soul. One half of the crazy bastards. Christian Mills, you think you're crazy? You have no idea what too tough Tyler Uriah is capable of. So tonight, you find out just what crazy he is. The following contest is the first round match of the Young Lions Cup scheduled for one fall. Introducing first. He hails from Boca Raton, Florida, weighing in at 183 pounds. He is too tough. Tyler, you're Insane 
first-round matchup of the Young Lions Cup. And again, I'm joined by a man who's only allowed to use half his amazing vocabulary, Sly Size Stevens. But you're doing a great job, Sly One. I appreciate the kind words. I'm reeling, reeling from the censorship, but I'm excited for more first-round action. Well, we're definitely going to get it. We have a unique matchup here. Two guys who definitely don't like each other. Two tough Tyler Uriah and Christian Mills from the nearest local uh, sane asylum. Do you, do you know where that is? Is that like a is that like a village inn? Is that like a McDonald's? They just have a Saint Asylum now all over. It can't be anywhere in this great city of Newport, Richie. I'll tell you that much. Uh, I'm, I'm gonna have to disagree with you on that one. I mean, <laughs> see, it's written down oh, here. Right, oh my I have goodness! To say that. You know, you know, our commissioner has chicken scratch for writing. Unbelievable! It's not the only. Th Never mind. To fans are. We're here, poor Sly Sly Stevens, who's been again censored, which is sad because this has been the best broadcasting commentary. Duel since the days of Bobby Heenan and Luscious Johnny Valley. That I, can say. I couldn't agree with you more, but I do have a question for you. Maybe you know the answer. I'll go right for it. Where's John Strange? You know, I don't know. He might have actually escaped from the insane asylum. Insane one not here tonight. Too tough using that power. He's not too tough, Tyler Rye. He's got a great power thing. Power advantage in this match. Oh! Compared, compared to his opponent, he definitely has the advantage in power. However, Richard Mills has the speed and agility matched to absolutely no one here at WWE Proving Ground. No, that is true, and he is a Brazilian man. He's been going through a lot of injuries. He just lost his shoe. Uh, yeah, that, that is his shoe. But that since he's insane himself, it really doesn't bother him. And now he's going soft-footed! Oh! It's definitely, that's what I would expect someone who is insane to do, remove all their clothing. And now he's going full force, socks and all against two tough Tyler Uriah. Oh, I'll tell you, the counter wrestling of Uriah is amazing. See, now if he had a grip on his feet when he stood up there for the monkey flip, that would not happen. That is, that is true. Yeah. Going into the corner now is Uriah putting the boots down on him. Wonder if she tried to aim for uh, aim for Christian Mills' knee. I know his left knee's been injured a lot. Yes, it has, thanks to that wonderful duo, Better Together. Oh, I love even better, Better Together. They're just incredible. Yes, even Better Together is better than the better version of the first per better version of them. Exactly. It's like they never even existed. Exactly. Oh, absolutely. Tyler Uriah right now in control of Christian Mills, ready to set him up. It looks to be a vertical shoot play. No, reversal by Christian Mills. Almost gets the three count on that. Oh, what a great count. What a, like, a consistent count by our referee tonight, wouldn't you say? Um, no. I, 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 again, it's like it, three and a half right there. It's, oh, it's, it's right three. there in paragraph three. Okay, I see why. I, I'm, I won't get you in trouble, Sly One. Don't worry. You, you can trust in me, just like everyone else. Oh, there's Tyler Uriah wearing down Christian Mills. This is exactly what he needs to do. Put all his weight on and immediately cut off his air. Exactly. While at the same time, kind of keeping himself, giving himself a little bit of rest. But Christian Mills doesn't stay down for very long. He's, he missed that big swing right there, and he's back in the chin lock. Yeah, he's back to having to fight that. It looks like it's basically bone on neck right now by Tyler Uriah. Look how deep he's got that in there. And yet, according to paragraph three, a referee. Closing in, looking in to see if there's going to be a submission. And check it out. The delightful people here in Newport Ridge are getting behind Christian Mills. Can you believe it? I, you know, I, I can't, but you have to, so I'll go along with it. Exactly. And there's Uriah right now trying to set something up on Mills. But well, Mills able to use his momentum to bring Uriah right to the ropes. Hung him right up on that top rope. Let's see how he follows it up. Oh! A big sock in Zaguri right to the side temple of Tyler Uriah. He could be out as we know it right now. What? Absolutely. Now the ref giving in the... Did they say the wonderful crowd of, of Port Ritchie? And here it says delightful. Delightful. I see that. And then I see wonderful down at the bottom. Unbelievable. But they are cheering for Christian Mills. And it is helping him in this match. Big flurry of offense. Trying to go for that side, for that neck breaker, it looks like. Look at this, it's a lot of moves. Oh, Uriah left his head open for that. Devastating. Almost gets the three. I thought that was it. Oh, I, that was very close. 
And another incredible first round match here in the Young Lions Cup 2023. One of these guys tonight is going to get that big trophy. They're going to get the glory of it. Do you think he has a shelf to put it on in the middle? Oh, I'm not sure. It may not matter after that. Tyler or Ryan just turn him inside out. Yep, he's not making it. Oh. Here is your winner. And moving on to the semifinals. Another incredible matchup, but in this one, too tough. Tyler Araya was just too tough, and he moves on to the semifinals. in the Lions Cup Tournament. I'm facing Xander Maddox. Who, who, who's Xander Maddox? It doesn't matter, because I'm better, better than everyone else in this tournament. And this tournament's mine, New Ori Mitchells. That's right, because I'm better, better, ba 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 than everyone. Ayy! Yes, sir. See, one fourth part of the Miami boys, I'm gonna be representing the Young Lion Tournament, and I got, who I got? Mitchell? Who? Mitchell. Who? He was supposed to be the fake Adar. Oh, <laughs> Bruh. Come on, dog. Come on, man. See, the Miami boys, we ain't come to play around. See, that's why they send the real X Factor, Xander Maddox, here yeah. to take over the competition. And that's what I'm going to do. Stay tuned. Yes, sir. The following contest is the first round of the Lions Cup match scheduled for one ball. One ball! Introducing first. He hails from Marysville, Ohio, re representing Better, Better Together, Andrew Nuori Mitchell. His opponent. tournament and we have the champion from 2022 Xander Maddox in the ring against New Ori who's been just so awesome lately so awesome so just so amazing. much better what do you say oh so even better than better now that because of that even better better together has better fashion sense like cowboy hats and cowboy boots you don't get any better than cowboy gear that's nope. for sure absolutely now what is this I'm reading down here in paragraph six you're supposed to thank the commissioner Rick Thames for making this tournament possible. Uh, oh. I was gonna pretend I didn't see that oh, there, I'm but that was my gaffe. Oh. Now that you mention it, uh, we should probably thank Rick Thames for putting together such a wonderful tournament tonight. Well, unbelievable. Well, in the ring right now, this match starting out with Maddox with the side headlock. We still got a big eight-man tag team match coming up. We got the we got the Florida Heritage Championship coming up. We got the semifinals and finals. This, this is a, quite a night here at Proven Ground so far. A night of so much action, nonstop action. It's only gonna get better from here. Absolutely, and folks, we didn't need no script or no censorship from Rick Thames to say that. That is the honest truth. That is for sure. 
And right now, both guys started out very technical. Maddox going for that left arm on New Ori. Oh, he's got that arm in quite a position, too. They're just trying to feel each other out right now. I don't think they've been in the ring with each other that much. So we're just trying to, you know, feel each other out. Absolutely. So far, Maddox with a little more... Oh, that, that is just disrespectful. Unbelievable. You do not do that. Maybe, Only New Ori does that. Maybe Xander wants to be the, the new, new, new Ori. No, th there is only one new Ori. To, for now, at least, I think. I can't wait to see when the new hater comes back, too. That'll definitely be an interesting, oh, interesting even, turn of events here. Even, sli even slightly better hater. Right now, nice shoulder block by new Ori. Bounce into the ropes. Maddox, though, able to get a beat in. He's got a leapfrog. Nice hip toss. Nice drop kick. You better get things together or this match is going to last very long. And that's the thing about Maddox is that he knows what this tournament is like. He has gone through a, all of it last year. And see what New Orleans, he's got him up in that Argentini backbreaker. Oh! Slams him down. I oh, thought it was over right there. I thought so too. I thought that was going to be it for that match. Been a big upset. Well, not to me or you, but to the rest of the fans and the betting public, you would say. Uh, I can agree with you there. I, I don't want to agree too much, but I, I know what you're saying. I think that's okay. I think the commissioner is going to be okay with that. You, you know, he better not come up here to the Eagle's Nest. I'll tell you that. If he does, then I'll, I'm going to split, all right? Yeah, I don't blame you. Beautiful choke on the ropes by New Ori. Oh, and a drop kick. Goes for the cover, and this could be it right here. No. I would say the referee was in... Perfect position for that. Oh, this is you're gonna you're gonna make me cry, Sly One. You're gonna make me cry. I, I'm hoping we get over this, and next week's a different story. I hope so too. New Ori currently in control, but Xander Maddox throwing some shots in there. Oh, but he eats a big forearm right to that Capri Sun like blue hair he has going on there. It's very stylish. We can say what we want about his hair. His outfit, his attitude, but he has a lot of fight in him, and this one's far from him. Uh, absolutely. Right now, he seems to be reaching for the crowd, getting air back in his body. But New Ori, right now, the even better, better, better version, I would say. Working on that ankle. Very nice. You just said the word crowd, which reminds me, I have to say, the tremendous capacity crowd here, the WWE Improved Crowd. You know, Training we need Center. to get our graphics department to show that you are being censored, in fact. This is sad. New Ori going for the cover, does not get it. I gotta tell you, Xander Maddox right now taking a lot of punishment. Like I said though, it takes a lot to put down Xander Maddox. It does, and right now, both men back up to a vertical base. That may have been a mistake on New Ori's part, I'm not sure, because Maddox is fighting back. And yeah, we got ourselves a little pair of six brawl in that ring. Should have kept him on the ground while he had the chance. Oh my, Xander now going for the skies, but New Ori able to catch him in. Sets up, vertical suplex, oh, Falcon Arrow! Now he goes for the cover. Oh, he should have gotten a three there. Can you believe this referee, Sly Style? I think the referee's doing a fantastic Oh, I forgot about that, ugh. What, what New Ori needed to do was hook both of the legs. Oh, well, right now, New Ori going in for the submission. This could very well be it, wrestling fans. I think Xander Maddox had a great run in here, but this could, no, wait a minute, he's fighting out. Now he goes to the ankle, New Warrior. That's not fair. Only, only even better, better together can go for ankles and knees and such. You know what? I, I don't think they have ownership on what body part. I think it's plenty fair. I, I'm gonna have to check the copyright law on that. Nice, nice clothesline goes for the cover. Impossible win again. No, Maddox kicks out yet again. I can't believe it. He turned him inside out with that clothesline. I don't know how he kicked out. Unbelievable. Now he measures him up. He, oh, well, I think we're gonna get ourselves a lion salt by New Ori. Here it is. Oh! Took a little too much time bragging to the crowd. Yeah, he just missed it by a little bit there. But because of that, he's given precious time to Xander Maddox, who needs it right now. He needs to get the air back in his body. He needs to get that adrenaline going if he wants to continue in his trek here for the Young Lions Cup. Both men back on their feet. Nice. Xander, the first one to strike. Another one, duck under. He's like a new man in that ring. Oh! 
disrespecting New Ori while giving him an enziguri, and he goes for the cover. What a close call that was. That I, oh, Xander almost had that. He almost did. Both men right now putting on a classic here in the first round. Xander Maddox getting this uh, delightful crowd into this match. I I'm trying to save you, Slice One. I'm trying to save you. I know. Big chop to the throat by New Ori. And there we go. Bop, 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 bop. This is going to be it. Oh, suplex. All the blood rushing to Xander's head right now. Slips out of it. My goodness, did you hear that? All the way up here, it felt like my teeth were rattled. And Xander, oh, takes him over! Xander oh knows what time it is. It's time to get that second Young Lions Cup victory. And oh, there it is. Here is the winner, and moving on to the semifinals, Xander Maddox! Like I said, he knows, he knows what that's like to win the Young Lions Tournament. He did it last year. He knows what it takes, and he's going for number two, two years in a row. The following contest is an eight-man tag team contest What we got right here is all the participants of this proven, proven Ground Rumble that we had earlier on tonight. They have uh, been selected by their order of elimination into this crazy eight-man tag team match. Well, this is certainly interesting as we have a lot of people here that are teaming up that normally uh, wouldn't exactly be considered friends or allies or anything. So I suppose really anything can happen in this match. It's insane seeing what's going on here. Of course, the winner of the Proving Ground Rumble earlier tonight, Awesome Adam Bale is going to get his shot at Sideshow in the Florida Heritage Championship. Man, that's going to be a great match. You know, he made fun of my hair, the champ. What? I just, I'm not getting over that. Has he looked in a mirror lately? Yes, my mirrors are beautiful. Oh, no, I meant him, but no, oh. whatever. So I'm a little surprised that K9 Alpha the team managed to make it out here after, from what I understand, he took a vicious chair shot from the DOM. Yeah, we heard that from up here, the DOM very angry as to what happened. I'll tell you, these two's beef is not over yet. But the Puerto Rican hound dog, one thing I found out as I was on my way here, he was on his way out. Head into the hospital. It looked like he broke his hand actually in the in the proving ground rumble earlier. Probably that's why he's not in this match right now. He was out there busting everyone up. I'll tell you that. He was. It was very surprising to see him get over. Of course, by this guy Scyther, who for some reason is still walking after all the damage this guy has taken. Scyther is a top tough individual, Vic Slohan. And yeah, I mean, I guarantee he's not 100% after what's happened the last few weeks, but. Actually, seeing all these guys in the ring, and most of them, none of them are really 100%. That was quite a tag. Well, so McCoy, maybe with a little bit of strategy here, tabbing in Alpha T. Well, we all know Buzzsaw Choice McCoy is not the greatest tag team wrestler ever lived. And right now, we got a little dissension going on with Damian Gonzalez and the team over there. This is quite a unique uh, match we got going Again, on. I guarantee, well, the DOM, for one, he has not made many friends here at WWF Proving Ground. He was, of course, the tag team partner, K9 Alpha T, turned on him out of nowhere a couple weeks ago. And then today, 
attacks him with a chair on the outside of the ring after Al Pacino was eliminated from the Rumble. And Just getting rid of the competition, settling some scores. Because you know, the DAM, the DOM, he's out there, the CEO, the haters, he's gonna be on his way up to a title. But right now, it's Gemini with that side headlock. It's gonna be tough to pull off here on uh, Al Pacino. That's a big guy to try to put a side headlock on. Scyther almost went through the wall. Well, Scyther out of control as always. I really don't know how these teams are going to communicate, how they're going to get along. Again, you never know what's going to happen here at WWE Proving Ground. And this is one of those matches that you're not going to see anywhere else, I guarantee it. We're going to see pure madness. To be honest, this is kind of a handicap match because Gunther right there is in the corner also. Oh, that's that true. Yes. He's good, in there big good point there, Vic Slohan. Oh, I make a lot of good points. That's debatable, but that was, anyways, Damien coming in with that clothesline on Alpha T. What I like about this kid, he sizes him up. He's very scrappy. Springs Bart off the ropes. Nice drop kick. Beautiful, beautiful. Right on the money. But so Wait a minute, what, what just happened, happened to Scyther? There? I think Scyther flipped himself into the ring there. That, that's insane. He just gave himself a flip. I, I'm just insane. By the way, do you know that my partner, Cy Stevens, is being censored? Cy, so was he here? He was just here. I missed him completely. I mean, Our I don't crooked know commissioner gave him five pages of words he couldn't say and words he had to say. Unreal. By the way, where is Commissioner Rick Thing tonight? I haven't seen him anywhere. I don't know. Is he on assignment somewhere? Maybe scouting new talent for proving around? Oh, come on. Scyther now biting on the fingers of Damien Gemini. Now the psycho one, Dan Lyon in there. And it's Gunther biting, biting on the Wait, fingers. Was that Gunther or was that Dan Lyon? I think that was or Gunther. Was both of them. And now we got the buzz Might have been a double team bite by Gunther oh and Dan Oh my goodness, Lyon. this is turning into a buffet. Well, Damian Gemini might be head of the hospital for his hand, too. Like the way things are looking here. Even K9. Oh, this big dog fight in this situation. And now yet another tag over to Scyther. And apparently, a, a Scyther's team has a little Wait more. Wait a minute, Scyther was in and out and, and back out and back in again. What the heck's going on? I don't know. Does smartly get to the left arm of Damian Gemini. There's a lot of tags on this team. There are. I actually shocked at the cohesiveness on this team right now. Wait a minute, Buzzo McCarthy right in the hand of Scyther. Are you kidding me? So much for cohesiveness. The baby keep on the top row. Oh, it's always here. Here it comes. Missile drop kick takes Buzzo McCoy down. It's always dangerous when baby keep goes to, goes in the air and flies. I'll tell you that. Oh, this guy is action personified. And man, he has some agility. Look at that. Twisting cross body press off the top row. Man, what action we've got tonight here. WWF Proven Ground, Lions Cup Tournament 2023. I'm so glad I was finally able to fight through that traffic and make it here, Big Slow Man. Uh, I'm for one, I'm not glad that you're here. Oh, you know you miss me. You know you miss me. Well, things are broken down into a street fight between Buzzsaw and McCoy Creek. Well, wait a minute. What? Buzzsaw McCoy's hitting all of his own tag team partners, and he hits the DOM. And, oh, yeah, things are broken down. Hey, yeah, what's going on here? I, none of these guys, I'm looking at my slits here. The wrestlers are supposed to be against each other. Nothing's working here. Referee is ringing the bell. I think this one's been, been thrown out, and, and he's wisely getting out of Dodge as this match is out of control. We need some order in here, Sean Davis. Especially with these nut jobs. Well, this fight might keep going for a while if we don't get anybody out here to break it up. We got Scyther and Baby Keith. We got Alpha T and DOM. They're, they are still fighting over there. Well, Alpha T and DOM, I promise the feud is not over between those guys as they are fighting tooth and nail right now. Oh, what, oh, Krieger locks on the claw on Damian Gemini. Who got disqualified? Everybody got disqualified. I thought it would be a October, uh, an October disqualification. I, 
Uh, that's a word I don't know about, but I don't that's know. Yeah, yeah, that's a slow handism, I guess. But uh, that, well, the fight's still going on. Look at this Buzzsaw McCoy and Krieger going at it. My goodness. Well, we're gonna have to get things get things uh, under control here so we can move on with our tournament matches. Uh, oh, the fight is still continuing. Two down. Two matches down. And it's Young Lions Cup. My first Young Lions Cup. I only gotta win one more. In this natural 20. Be the legend that they deserve to be. They prove what they are. The greatest wrestler to enter WWE. I'm gonna make sure the winners. This is my story. Ladies and gentlemen, the following contest is the semi-final Young Lions Cup match scheduled for one fall. Introducing first. Now, Vic Slohan, we're going into the second round of the Lions Cup tournament. Man. What a night we've had already here. Absolutely, Sean Davis. And I'll tell you, this first round is a very brutal first round for basically everybody involved. The Paladin right now, Great Xavier, hurting after his after his victory earlier tonight. But right now, he needs to he needs to suck it up. Oh yeah, he's got a tough one ahead of him, Vic Flohan. Puma Johnson, victorious earlier against Cameron Stewart. What a match. Yeah, the boys, the Black Puma, Puma Johnson. Yeah, that was a back and forth affair. Puma Johnson able to get the win. Cameron Stewart kind of just danced around a little too much. Though, so, you know, the ladies liked it. Unfortunately, it didn't get him to advance. Puma Johnson has advanced, and we got ourselves quite a one on one match here. Well, Puma Johnson, a true fan favorite here. We don't get to see them that often. They, him and his uh, compadres come all the way from Miami here to Newport Ritchie. About a four hour drive for them. And what dedication. Yeah, guys absolutely. Have. But that's the thing about Puma Ground. You see a lot of dedication. You see wrestlers coming in from all walks of life, from all parts of the world to be part of this show. It's amazing. Beautiful drop kick by Puma Johnson. No doubt. There goes Drake Xavier smartly retreating to the floor. Yeah, taking a little time right now. Actually, Drake Xavier defeated his partner earlier on in the first round. So, you know, he's trying to make a make a habit of beating the Miami boys if he could. No doubt about it. Xavier coming in, but nobody home. Yeah, about a second too late. Puma Johnson right now trying to cycle in on Drake Xavier. Picks him up. He has him up there. Got him up there for a while. Oh, brings him down hard. Almost a three count. And again, I'm going to tell you, conditioning has a lot to do when it comes to the semifinal round in this type of tournament. Whipping the ropes. Oh, there sorry. He goes. No, he, he stopped himself. And oh, Puma over, but he stopped himself. But, oh, but he gets caught by Xavier. A lot of counter attacking right now by both wrestlers. But Xavier right now seems to be the man that has control on Puma Johnson. Oh, nice knee right to the small of the back. <laughs> and that's got a smart right there, my friend. Goes for the cover. But kind of a little nonchalant on that. Well, as this tournament continues, Vic Slohan, you know that everybody that's already wrestled, they already had tough, tough matches, and they somehow have to dig deep in themselves to, to do it all over again a second time, and then 
If you make it through the second round, you're talking about a third match you have to wrestle in order to get that cup later tonight. Absolutely. Injuries are going to play into it. How much oxygen you got in your body, that's going to play into it. And it's going to come down to who wants it more. It's going to come down to instinct. Right now, though, Xavier seemed to be having Puma Johnson, who was on a lot of the receiving end of his first round match. And I think Xavier noticed this, so he's trying to keep the advantage on Puma Johnson. Keep him off his feet. Oh. Giant chop by Drake Xavier. Man, you hear that all the way up here in the Eagle's Nest. The reverber reverberating, I can't quite talk, all over the building here. And another one. Big chop by Puma Johnson to the delight. Wait a minute. Oh, delight. just a, that was a kick right to the mouth by nice. Jay Xavier. Nice by Xavier. Wow. Nothing scientific about that, but it sure is effective. Now Puma Johnson trying to get the delightful. Wait a minute. Look at this strength Crap. maneuver. Oh, that salto. Brings him over. That should be it, Sean Davis. That should be all. Drake Xavier, I think, has this match won again. Well, he's hesitating here. He's hesitating a little bit too much here. It is time for the greatest move in wrestling. Did you know this, Sean Davis? Well, that's what he's saying anyways. I don't know about that. But... Oh, I am ready. Here it comes. I don't understand how that's the greatest move on anything. It is absolutely the great. That is devastating. Look at that. Oh, oh but that. Would have been devastating if he had connected with it. But again, there's no water in the pool. Xavier hit hard, and the fans are getting behind Puma Johnson right now. Unbelievable. Puma Johnson coming in with those clotheslines going in full force. And they have been working for him all night long. Puma Johnson has those unique leaping clotheslines. And then he, he does this just like a puma in the jungle, and that's what he studies, my he friend. Break, as you see, he does. I, he takes out that left arm. He's very smart when it comes to that. He just he's pawing at his opponent. He's, it's like an animal to him. Oh. Big leg drop. You got oh. so much height on that leg drop, but failed to hook the leg. That was a big mistake, I believe. Well, he's still right now just looking at him, setting up his next maneuver. You see the look in the eyes of Puma Johnson. Well, I think both these guys are exhausted at this point. They both had strenuous matches earlier on. This is a tough match now. It's going to be, whoa, wait a minute. Drake Xavier had a hold of the referee, and then a low blow. Come on. I think he kicked the back of his knee. I think that's what happened. No, that was a blatant low blow. Come on. Oh, Xavier absolutely <laughs> robbed Puma Johnson of that one. He distracted the referee, Dominic Coco, then the low blow. He took advantage of it to get the pin. Drake Xavier is heading to the finals tonight of the Young Lions Cup. I mean, I think this one's going to be a banger, my friend. You know, this guy has earned that nickname, Too Tough. Extremely reminiscent of your old school wrestlers of the past, like your Anderson brothers, your Funk brothers. I see a lot in this kid. I do too. He is a great wrestler. So he had an incredible match with Christian Mills. Michael James keeps cutting me off. He has a habit of doing that, but it's okay. But what a match this is going to be. Tyler Uriah and Xander Maddox. Xander Maddox, one of the Miami boys. He hails from Miami, Florida. I just said that. Oh. Well, say, Xander Maddox, who defeated New Ori, which I consider a little bit of a shock because New Ori has just been on such a tear. But Xander is in there, ready to go against two tough Tyler Uriah, 
who was able to take out Christian Mills in the first round. He's going to take him out. Oh, Tyler Uriah <laughs> from behind. What a smart move. I don't necessarily agree with the tactics, but what a smart maneuver. He knows how important this young Lions cup is, and this is his chance tonight. He needs just two more wins to take that cup home with him. Well, yeah, he, he needed to do it because you could see him going back in the corner and his body is not the same after that first round match. Was he wasting too much time here? Comes out and misses. Xander with a schoolboy. Could he get him? No, two count only. Xander Maddox kicks out. See how he can follow it up. Nice standing switch. Beautiful Boy. wrestling maneuvers by Xander Max, but he missed that kick. Let's see what Tyler Uriah can do. Maybe going for, for a figure four leg lock, and yes, he locks it in. Oh, he has got that cinch right on in there. Too tough is just crushing his kneecap right now. Oh, my shoulders might be down it. One of the most painful maneuvers in all of professional wrestling, the figure four leg lock. Can Xander reverse the hold? You know, Victorian, if you can reverse the momentum, it, it makes the pain go to the person that put it on, and that's exactly what Xander Maddox just did. Reverse the figure four, but Tyler Uriah manages to make it to the bottom rope to that, break up the count. Yeah, but after taking a lot of damage now on that knee, both guys' knees right now are kind of hurting. You also got to take into effect, you know, the muscles are starting to cramp in a situation like this. Oh, I'm sure. Tournament matches. They Everything their bodies went through in their first matches, they're dealing with right now. Absolutely, and both guys right now, worse for wear. Oh, Xander Maddox, beautiful clothesline, a second one. Tyler Uriah is rocking. Oh, he stopped that kick, but catches one on the other side by Xander Maddox. Let's see if Maddox can follow it up here. He's trying, but he is hurting. Those educated feet did work well for him. Oh, Uriah wisely gets out of the ring before he gets turned over for a pen attack. Smart move. The fans here at the WWE Pro Wrestling Training Center not happy, but very intelligent move by you, you Tyler mean, Uriah. You mean the alleged delightful fans here of Port Richie, Florida? Oh, there's nothing wrong with the fans of Newport Richie, Florida, okay? Unbelievable. The fight looks like it might be going outside here, but these guys have to be careful. Okay, yeah, Xander Maddox sends Uriah back in. A count out, a double count, especially would eliminate both men from the tournament. That would be true, especially this late in the tournament. That would definitely turn things on its ear. Now both men at a vertical base, and they both, oh, Tyler they Uriah, got their 50%. He was stalking Xander Maddox right there, then with the attack to the knee, going back after he had locked on that figure four leg lock. But that knee is hurting by Uriah. Now he's still going for the run, though. Oh, and the run. And oh and that the could be it right there. lariat by Tyler Uriah. This one's got to be over. And it is. Tyler Uriah is going to the final. You know, Sean Davis, he has that busted up left knee, and he still went full force off the ropes to deliver that lariat. That was amazing. That was a brutal, brutal lariat. What an incredible competitor Tyler Uriah is. And wow, what a matchup we're going to have in the finals. Tyler Uriah versus Drake Xavier. Yeah, it's good. Interesting match, my friend. Will be epic. Hey, kids, it's Sideshow here, right at WWN Proving Ground. And tonight, I get to defend my FIP Florida Heritage Championship against awesome Adam Vale. You know, I was scouting that battle royal very, very closely to see who's going to be the man and step up and challenge me for my title. And out emerges you. So tonight, Adam Vale, you are going to get a shot at the title. You're going to get a shot at the eighth deadly sin. And tonight, we're going to see if you're really about that life. Ladies and gentlemen, the following contest is scheduled for one fall.
Man, Vic Slohan, in addition to everything else going on tonight with the Young Lions Cup Tournament, we have a Florida Heritage Championship match tonight. Awesome Adam Vail, I wasn't here for it, but apparently he won the Rumble earlier tonight to earn this title shot. Absolutely eliminated two men right at the end to be able to get this shot. I had Sideshow up here in the Eagle's Nest. He noted how cold and calculating the awesome one is, how very smart he was in the match, and it might just get himself a championship reign tonight. <laughs> Well, it should be a great match, Vic Slohan. Man, I am psyched for this one. Adam Vale, who has shot up the rankings here at WWE Improving Ground in a short amount of time in the singles division. This is arguably the biggest match he's ever had. I believe it is. And right now, he's you know, giving a little head game to the ref, trying to work the ref. Uh, he better be careful. He's going to be disqualified before the match even starts. No, no, no. He's just doing what, you know, football coaches and basketball coaches would do, you know. Just working the ref for a call here and there. And now he's going after Sideshow, the FIP Florida Heritage Champion. And he said he's been up for this match the whole time. And there is Sideshow coming in the ring, and we're about to have Michael James make this announcement that it's classic title match. Awesome Adam Vale in Sideshow. Introducing first the challenger, standing to my right, from Denver, Colorado, weighing in at 205 pounds, he is awesome! To be awesome, Vic Slohan. He has earned that he title. Is from the psychedelic underground, weighing in at 220 pounds, he is your reigning and defending FIP Florida Heritage Champion. He is the eighth deadly sin sideshow. Sideshow, the real veteran in this match. Over 25 years in the wrestling business. This kid guy started when he was just a kid. Really. I know. I mentioned to him when I was watching him as a young lion way back in the 90s. And right now he's putting that title on the line against awesome Adam Vale. He knows it's going to be a different type of match for him. He's going to have to not just bring the power, bring the violence, but he's going to have to bring some strategy to a match like this because he knows Adam Vale is very, as I said earlier, calculating. He is indeed. And here he comes, taking out Sancho right into the corner. Smart move by Adam Vale, attacking the veteran, the legend, Sideshow. And look what he's doing, he's using the elbows, he's using the bone air on the shoulder, he's using all the forearms, he's using those intangibles he has. Wow, look at the strength of Adam Vale. And right back to the elbow, right in the corner. Excellent maneuvering here by the challenger, who could soon be champion. Well, he is ruthless in his attack, Adam Vale. And I think Sideshow might have been taken a little bit by surprise here. Uh, he's gonna be taken a bit by surprise with those knees if he's not careful. Reversal by Sideshow. Oh, leg lariat by Sideshow, takes Adam Vale down. Clothesline brings him down again. He hooks him full Nelson, brings him up, drives him face first into the mat. And Sideshow might be putting away Adam Vale early here, Big Slow. Unbelievable, the quickness of the champion in that. I'll tell you, he has one of the best leg Larry's I've ever seen here in wrestling. Oh, we're going to the streets here right now. Yeah, that's an area Adam Vale doesn't want to be in in this situation. He needs to get back in that ring as quick as he can. Oh! Well, Sideshow, not just a great technical athlete, but one of the most successful brawlers in the history of all of Florida professional wrestling. He's easily just one of the toughest men this area of Florida has ever seen. Oh, look at those little, oh those, those short punches. Oh, those are vicious, vicious punches by Sideshow. I think, oh, wait a minute, Adam Hill trying to take him over. Is he doing it? Oh, Adam Hill swept the leg. Brought Sideshow down hard. And high, Sideshow might be favoring his left wrist. I, I think know. so. Uh, he's definitely favoring right there. Adam Vale gonna go for those knees. Yes! Excellent use of those knees. Oh, another one. 
And right now, the champion is in a lot of trouble. Oh, that could be it. Yeah, that could have been the knockout knee right there. Going for the pin. Two count, but what a cocky a pin attempt fixed one. What the heck? The FIB Florida Heritage Championship is on the line, and he doesn't even bother to hook the leg? Not in this situation. He wants to wear a sideshow down some more. I tell you, winning this title tonight would be so much. Oh, he's, he's tweezering. Squeezing his eyebrows. How nice of him. I think he was pulling a nose hair out or something. I, oh, now, now he's now he's going for the, the ear hair. I got Come you, on. I got your ear. <laughs> Adam Vale's one of these guys where I swear he just has a sadistic streak in him. And I love it. He I just love enjoys it. hurting other people. It could work very well with them tonight with Oh, such that flip. <laughs> Against sideshows known as a brawler, but man, this guy can wrestle as good as anyone. But man, he caught that boot right to the face. Wow, so close, so close. So close. I imagine with the uh, list of champions we've had for that Florida Heritage Championship, that Eric Stevens and Sauer Naro, and you would have right here awesome Adam Vale if he's able to defeat Sideshow tonight. Well, he'd be adding his list to a list of true superstars in the history of professional wrestling. Imagine what that would do for his career. Not just beating Sideshow, but actually becoming the FIP Florida Heritage Champion. And Adam Vale could do it tonight. Imagine what it would do for his self-confidence at Adam Vale being a champion. I mean, he's already a confident man. Well, he is a very confident man, but again, as much as it pains me to say so, he has earned the title of Awesome Adam Vale. And every week, I swear, this kid improves and shows me more. But right there, he oh, caught nice. the elbow by Sideshow, but blocked and brought him up and over. And Sideshow is in trouble right Here now. Go, Davis. Do Here we go. be a new champion? No. no. Again, if he had only hooked the leg, I could have seen Adam Vale being the new FIP Florida Heritage Champion. Perhaps, but right now the awesome one's still in control, though. I gotta tell you, Sideshow, he's got a lot of speed in this match. He's been throwing a lot of crazy stuff around that could catch the challenger off guard if he's not careful. Now he's working in on that. Look at when he works in the arm, he still throws in the knees, still throws in the elbows. Yeah, he's going back to the basics here, but does everything in a torturous way. Oh, absolutely. This is amazing right here. He's got his arm wrapped around like a half stranglehold of sorts. And Sideshow could be losing oxygen right now. I think he is. At Avail, one thing he does have to his advantage in this match is the youth factor. Almost half the age of Sideshow. Almost half the age. He's got a bit of the height factor. But Sideshow... Oh, he brings him lower back first into the corner, and that smarts. Oh, but Adam Vale catches him with that boot. Back up to the ropes, but Sideshow stops. Oh, right to the face with that boot. Oh, my goodness. This, this could be over, Big Slow Hand. I don't under, know how the heck Adam Vale's ever going to get, get up, but no, but Sideshow... He's still worn out. He's still hurt from the earlier attack. And he was not able to capitalize by getting that no, hit. That burst of energy has wiped him out. And I'll tell you, I'm worried about Adam Vale if his jaw is broken. Both men right now just in, in peril, both of them. I'm not sure if they're going to be able to get up on their feet. This could be a double count out. It could. We're up to the referee. is up to six now. Now seven. They're getting to their feet. And they're up. Forearm by the awesome one. Oh, return by Sideshow. Forearm by the awesome one. Return by Sideshow. Another forearm by the awesome one. And return by Sideshow again and again. Oh, a headbutt to the solar plexus. Beautiful move. Never seen him do that before. But Sideshow comes right back. Elbow to the face. Boot kick. Another kick. Running kick. And Adam Vale is in trouble. Oh, no. This be it? To the, oh, no. Oh, wow. no. Oh, for sure that was it. Sideshow has brought the full momentum back in this match. He's getting the fans here at the WWE Pro Wrestling Training Center hyped up behind him. And let's see what he's gonna come up with. He hopes that could this be it, could this be? Well, I thought he was gonna go for his finisher, that eighth deadly sin. But I think it's right now Adam Vale is gonna try to go for the finisher. What a counter by Sideshow. 
These guys are just going at it tooth and nail. Amazing. Oh, he's got him set up. He's set up and he brings him down hard. One, two, and three. Sideshow defends his title successfully. Man, what a match, Mick Foley. And anyway, you slice it. I'll tell you, awesome Adam Bale brought it tonight, taking on the veteran, the legend, the FIP Florida Heritage Champion, Sideshow. And Sideshow is still your champion. But I guarantee, I don't think Sideshow has seen the last of awesome Adam Bale. Drake Xavier right now, you can see the, the physical pain written all over his face, but that's not going to stop him. It's not going to stop the Paladin yeah, whatsoever. You know, Sean Davis, I'm wondering, a couple of years ago with these guys, they were just breaking into the business. They were just getting into wrestling, and here they are in the finals of the Young Lions Cup. You know, this could be somebody out there watching the show today, thinking to themselves, how can I get there? How can I get to this level in pro wrestling? Well, you know, it all starts at the WWN Pro Wrestling Training Center. Go to WWNTC.com to learn more about how you can make your dreams of becoming a professional wrestler true. But here we are, it's the finals, baby. It's all on the line right here. This could be do so much for the career of, of either one of these young men. We know that there are promoters all over the world that watch WWE Proving Ground each and every week. They're Absolutely. watching these two. They've already seen them today in, in two incredible matches, but now facing each other in the finals, the winner gets that cup, and more importantly than the cup, they get that prestige of being able to say forever that they were the 2023 Young Lions Cup winner. Absolutely, and I'll tell you, I'm looking at this match from my strategy. Drake Xavier likes to use a lot of high impact maneuvers, but I'm not sure his body's gonna allow him. Tyler Uriah likes to be more of a ground-based wrestler, but look at that knee of his, he can barely stand on it. Well, both of these men are damaged. Da oh, but wait a minute, Drake Xavier with that slap across the face. I was gonna say both of these men are worse for wear from their earlier matches tonight. Nice little slap. Oh, but that's not a smart move by Xavier. And Tyler Uriah coming back. See, in a match like this, you have to be aggressive, you have to be assertive and instinctive. And those are not just hype words, they're the truth right now. And Uriah going straight to the corner on Xavier. It's gonna come down to here, Vic Slohan. Which of these two men 
has enough left in the gas tank to be able to pull off the win here. I think it's going to come down to also the opportunity. In a situation like this, you're no longer at 100%, so opportunity presents itself for either you or your opponent. And it's going to be the first man who, it, who just executes on that opportunity. I think it will be our Young Lions Cup winner tonight. It's also going to be really important that neither one of these men make any major mistakes that could basically give the win to their opponent. I think no. they have to be very careful with the types of maneuvers they try to pull out in this match. Absolutely, which is why I'm a little worried for Drake Xavier because I know he loves to take those risks. I mean, he's got the greatest wrestling move ever. You've seen it already tonight. Well, that's Part his opinion, but... but he, yeah, but he's, he's putting in the shots of Tyler Uriah. You might see it again. And right now, is that big chip? No, Uriah gets out of the way. Oh, giant chop. Oh, Tyler just, Uriah. He's turning his chest into raw meat with that one. But again, look at how he's favoring yep. that left knee. Uriah right now trying to stay on his base with that left oh. knee. Another chop. Oh my goodness. Somebody check on the condition of Drake Xavier. He's in a lot of pain right now. Certainly is. I promise you he'll have a handprint on his chest for about a week after that one. We'll probably still see it next week here at WWE Improving Ground. Yeah, that's, not, that's something that Neosporin's not going to take out that easily. Is he going to try again? No, nope. he's going to try to do an Irish whip. I'm not sure this was wise on Uriah's part. Oh, yeah, he, that knee is too hurt. European uppercut there by Xavier. Snap mares Tyler Uriah over. That boot to the back. God, that's gonna just be so painful. Absolutely, and you're not kidding me, Sean Davis. Look at Xavier's chest. It looks like it's a Technicolor right now. Oh, just even kicking the fingers, that's gonna smart. Goes for the cover, almost a champ. Well, this kid, Drake Xavier, has come such a long way since we first saw him here at WWE Proving Ground. Week after week after week, he has stepped up, taken on to the toughest competitors that have walked through the doors here at the WWE Pro Wrestling Training Center. You've got to give the kid a lot of kudos. Oh, absolutely. Both these guys have been so amazing. You will see them hours and hours in that ring training, getting everything down. And right now it's Uriah who's got control. Oh, tries to throw that right shot. He's trying to Uriah put everything is, in it. He's, he is. He's having a rough time here, Big Slow. And you can tell so much has been, has been taken out of him in this mad this evening. The series of matches. Absolutely. Now Xavier trying to get control, but I tell you, they don't call him too tough, Tyler, for for just for effect. I mean, there is a reason for it. Xavier! Oh! That was a knife edge chop on that one. Both of these men laying it all on the line here for the chance to be the 2023 Young Lions Cup winner. The shot's coming in by Xavier right now. Seems to be slowing down Uriah. This could be it coming up here for Xavier. Well, it certainly looks like right now Drake Xavier might be the one that has more left in him in this match. Tyler Uriah might be spent. And look at the strength of Xavier bringing Tyler Uriah over. He has just been crushing it with those salto suplexes all night long. And here we go. Here we go, Sean Davis. No, I think, moving all the I think this is a mistake, Vic Slohan. He's, he's got the edge right now in this match. He should not be taking these risks. Oh, he hits this, it's all over. Oh, come yes. on, give me a One, break. Two. Oh, how did Tyler Uriah kick up? And he missed, but he lands on his feet. Wow. But catches it. The, the tornado landed by Tyler Uriah. Takes out Frank Xavier. If he can cover him, this is going to be all over, Vic Sloan. It could very well be. He's won his last two matches with that. He rolls him over. He's hooking the leg. This is going to be it. Three. No. No. How did Drake Xavier kick out? Vic Sloan, I would have put money on it right there that Tyler Uriah would have won this match. Pure instinct by Xavier to kick out. But as I mentioned earlier, it's about opportunity, and Uriah almost won it off that opportunity. And now Uriah right now, the crowd is chanting for two tough Tyler? Well, they certainly are, especially when you, when you well, he's against the, the Drake Xavier. It's not exactly a favorite here. But I got to tell you, both of these two, I promise you, have won fans here tonight. Absolutely. They're both somehow able to get back up to a vertical base. Xavier with the shot, but Tyler coming back. 
Oh my, look at the, these two just oh, throwing punches at each other. That giant right. Straight the money, but then Tyler Uriah comes right back with one of his own. And there goes Xavier. This is looking like one of those bar fights you see in Dublin or something. This is crazy. How are both of these men still in this fight after everything they've gone through tonight? But oh. Greg Xavier, what a smart move. Going right to the knee of too tough Tyler Uriah. Well, that was the opportunity. Now he needs to seize it. And it can he do it? Can he finish him up? No! Counter by Tyler Uriah! Oh, he wanted to go for that freaking four, but Xavier able to see it coming. Sends him into the corner, running European uppercut by Drake Xavier. Oh, this is very risky, Sean Davis. This is extremely risky. There he oh. goes, a Xavier bomb into the corner. Now can he finish him off? Is he able to finish him off here, Vic Sloan? He needs to do so, and he can't spend any more time. Both these guys have taken it beyond the limit, but he's going to the corner. It's what got him to the dance. I'm telling you, it's numbers. like a do or die situation. Oh my God! Quark screw splash by Xavier, and that's it! Drake Xavier is the winner! short career of Drake Xavier defeating too tough Tyler Uriah to become the 2023 Young Lions champion. Vic Sloan, what a night we've had here at WWF Proving Ground. Absolutely incredible. I have never seen that move out of Drake Xavier before. He sees the opportunity and because of that tonight, he is the Young Lions Cup winner. Big slow hand, we have seen so much tonight. And wrestling fans will have another huge event for you next week. The WWE Proving Ground Heavyweight Championship will be on the line and so much more for Vic Slohan, for Sideshow, for that side guy or whatever his name is. I'm Sean Davis. We'll see you next week here at WWM Proving Ground. Michael James standing here with your new Young Lions Cup champion, Drake Xavier. Drake Xavier, three tough matches tonight, and you stand on top of the mountain. How's it feel? Well, you see, I told everyone, I told everyone, I keep raising my stats. I, I am improving more than everyone else in WWN. You see, you see this? It's got a 20. It's got a 20 on it. It's like it was meant. It was meant for me. It drove me to be the greatest wrestler I could. And we all know that this is just the first step in Drake Xavier's story. You can quote me on that. Oh,